also we can rename so using the rename. Okay. Obviously, the, we can the, use that, but what about this? List one first. What list one? The inside. Can we change the order? Which means In, when I project, so. Project. First name. Like this one. If you change it, this, what happened? LM, but LM is actually not here. So you cannot change it. The order. It's not commutative. That is mentioned here. Okay, then. So this is an example of the duplication. So, after the, the last name, first name, and the salary of employee, how many tuples? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it's an eight tuple. However, if we select the sex and salary, it's not eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why? Because male and female. Female, 25. Female, 25. So Joyce and Elisa are duplicated. So automatically, the remove such a duplicate data. So relation algebra expression is a combination of the such a number of operation. Not only projection and selection, but any operation that we are going to see the later, it will be considered as a, the uh, the such a the duplication. Okay, several the easy one we will cover. So so it's a rename. We already saw the rename. So then, obviously, the such a relational concept came from what? Set theory. It's a mathematics, which means we can get the, all the benefit of mathematics, the set theory, like the, any set operation. What kind of set operation do you know? Union, intersection, minus, whatever. This operation automatically possible in the relational operation, like the union operation. The union, we always use the U. U. Sometimes it's called cup and cap, okay? Whatever the name is, this is the symbol of the union, okay? But you should be careful. When you union two, so there are two relations, the A, R, and S. What is R and what is S? This is the relation, and this is another relation. So when you combine union, their attribute, number of attributes should be the same. Otherwise, you cannot union. That makes sense, okay? One more thing is, it doesn't have to be the exactly same name, same data type of the attribute, at least type comparable. What does that mean, type comparable? It is easy to explain to the computer science student, but it is very hard to explain to non-computer science student. Because you are computer science, you understand type compa comparable. Some of the data is uh, you can automatically change, like the testing in the Java program, okay? Automatically change. Even though 111, if that is the, the string, kind of type, it can be used as a string. But if a date and the number, it cannot be type comparable. That is a, so at least the type comparable. So number of attribute left hand side, number of attribute right hand side should be the same. Plus each of them type comparable. So that is the condition to union. Okay, so we will see example. So I want to union student and instructor, student and instructor. Even though their names, attribute name are different. Fn, F name. Is it a problem? No, it doesn't matter. Number of attribute, one, two, one, two. So it's the same. And their type is the it's a name inside. So it's not a big problem. If you are not sure, you can change the name. 
rename fn to the f name, then union. But the, in this case, you don't have to do that. Just combine into one. One more thing. How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? How many? One, two, three, four, five. Seven plus five? <coughs> How many? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is something wrong? Duplicate data. Should be removed. That's another difference between the SQL and SQL. I will explain later. SQL consider both of them duplicate data and non duplicate data in the SQL. So, anyway, in the relational model, we ignore the duplicate data. That is the reason we have only 10. What about the intersection? And what about the minus? I don't have to explain the meaning of that. So you can uh, do the operation as you imagine. Okay, I'm not going to explain the such a thing. However, is there any the duplicate data issue? Minus? No. Minus is taking out part of that. It's already unique. Then after you take out part of that, it's still unique. What about intersection? It's already unique. Already unique. Common data. Automatically unique, so you don't have to worry about the uniqueness. Okay, so from the same theory, so we can use. So, so far we have seen the union, intersection, and the difference. Difference, I don't have to explain that. Okay, minus. Okay. So, you will probably learn that this kind of a set operation to derive at the uh, the such a thing, so, such a the, uh, characteristic commutative and associative. But this is not true. This is a very popular question in your elementary school, right? Same thing. And one more last thing. What is a Cartesian product? This is another set operation you learn. Cartesian product is the all possible combination between two sets. I have a one set, another set, the, like the three element, two element, what is the number of Cartesian product? Three times two, six, all combination. This is a very important operation in relational model. Why? Any? Because relational model, any database model, hate duplicate data. So how can we avoid the duplicate data? Separate. Whenever we have the something duplicate data, we can separate. That is called the normalization. We will discuss later normalization later. So it's a separate the data. That will be easy. But problem, if you separate the student data, the teacher data is over there and parents data over there, but I need to access the student name and whose teacher and whose parent name. How can you access? You need to visit all different rooms. You need to visit all different relations. How can you visit all different? In terms of relational operation, Cartesian product. Okay? That's the only way, actually, to combine. Okay? But it's a very expensive. So key part is how to reduce the cost. We will see. The, that is eventually, have you ever heard about the join operation in the SQL? That is the very useful. Whenever you need, join, join, join. However, join is uh, one of the most expensive operations. You should be careful. Okay, so we will discuss more later. So uh, from the Cartesian product, then continue to the relation operation. Anyhow, anyway, so we will have the exercise lab the next week. Even though we do not cover the single part, so we will have the exercise lab. You can directly the learn the exercise lab, the, any SQL. Okay, I tried to catch up, but uh, we will see in the next year. Unfortunately, I couldn't cover, so no homework. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you next week. Yes. Do we need to know about project phase two? Phase two, what? Of project. Do we need to know anything about project phase two? Which we need to submit in two days. Oh, yes. So, so you